everyone, it's Nini and welcome back to my channel. So as by the title below, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that I'll be struggling in this video of doing a flexi rod set, but I'm going to let you guys see what I did wrong and how I tried to fix it. So right now my hair is currently washed and conditioned and deep conditioned and I'll make sure to list the products in the description box below. But you guys know I like to section my hair off in four sections. I do this because it allows me to stay organized and I have a lot of hair and it just makes the whole process of doing my hair easier. Alright, so my hair is in four sections and I'm going to start with the bottom quadrant here. So I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner, some oil, a foaming mousse, and some flexorides. The green and the gray and maybe the purple. So you guys know I like to start off with soaking wet hair, so I'm just putting some water into my hair like I normally do. And here I'm taking the Mayo Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner and I just pumped about three pumps into my hand and I'm going to incorporate that into my hair from Roots Tins. So here I'm using a new brush, a tangle teaser, to kind of detangle my hair. And I kind of like this brush, so I may start using it because you guys know I only like the finger to tangle, but hey, a new product or a tool, I'm, I'm with it. Alright, so I'm just putting some of that oil into my hands, and you guys know I like to use oil to seal in the moisture I get from the leave-in, so I'm just doing that here. All right, so after all the products are incorporated, I'm gonna take about a mid-size section because I want to be able to put enough hair on the flexorize so that, you know, it'll be able to come out right. So I'm just gonna detangle it a little bit more because I want my hair to be fully detangled before I put the flexorize on. And I'm gonna take the foaming mousse and I'm using this as basically my moisturizer or to basically hold in the style but I pump two pumps and I'm just incorporating that into my hair and here I'm going to detangle even further to make sure the product was fully worked in and I'm going to twist my hair at the roots because I don't want my roots to be puffy and have the style basically sleep down. So I'm just twisting kind of like one third of the way, detangling a little bit more because you want the hair to be smooth so that it takes on the shape or the style of the flexorod. You want to make sure that your ends are fully smooth down on the rod and I'm just going to twist up diagonally. And here I'm going to make sure that I close the perm rod at the uh, roots of my hair to make sure that they stay slick down. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this process a few more times in real time. And like I said before, make sure that your hair is fully detangled so that it can take on the full shape of the style that you're trying to do.
So this is what my hair looks like after the, all the Flexorize have been put in. Alright guys, so this is where the struggle began. So I sat under a hooded dryer for about two hours because I didn't have time to let my hair air dry. And with this curl, she was cute. She was real cute. So I'm thinking that my hair is gonna be bomb, right? No. So at this point, I figured that my hair was still wet, and it was. And you can see, look at this curl. Like, that ain't right. So I'm getting frustrated at this point. So looking at my hair here, some parts were dry, some were wet, and I was highly livid. Like, I sat under the dryer for two whole hours and my hair felt dry, and it wasn't. Bruh. But anyway, I had somewhere to go, so I tried to finesse it. I just started to separate the curls just to see if I could probably do something to my hair, or maybe it would actually come out right, but You'll just see me just separating the curls here. Guys, let me tell y'all, this has been a process. And at first it started as a fail, but you know what? I decided to fix it. So let me guys tell you what happened. So in the previous clip, I was taking down my flexor rods and I had sat on the dryer for about two hours. Two hours now. Two hours. And as you saw me taking down the flexor rods, like my hair was still wet. Still wet. So I was already mad. Like, you know, when you think your hairstyle about to be bomb and it don't come out right. I, you know, I was just like, you know what, let me just fix it. So I, I put my hair into like a half up, half down do because I had a birthday party to go to and I wasn't about to look busted. So I did that, whatever. I calmed out the curls, went to the party. I then came back and I decided, you know what, let me redo it, but don't do it on soaking wet hair. So I decided to comb out my hair and basically like do a heatless blowout. I just combed it out, stretched my hair as much as possible. And then I decided to, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided to reflexorize my hair on dry stretched hair. And all I did again was I sprayed a little bit of water just to give it some moisture. And then I used the Mayo Organics um, leave-in conditioner, the same one I used in the video. And then I used the foaming mousse again, but I only used one pump this time so that my hair wouldn't be super wet. So I'm about to take this down and see how it looks because you know what, if if it don't come out right, this may be the last flexi ride I do. So let's just go ahead and see. So I'm going to take the first one down. And you know, flexi rods, you know, I haven't done one since I was like, basically perms. So it may be kind of hard for me to take it down and I'm looking at a beard right here. So I can know what I'm doing, y'all. <laughs> and obviously I don't. Okay. So I mean it's dry though. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is how my hair looks with the flexi rods actually taken out. And trust me, it's dry. So all now I gotta do is separate. So let's start to do that. So before I separate, I'm actually gonna put some oil in my hands. And this is the same oil that I use, the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil from Malachi Naturals. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hands, not too much. I'm just gonna separate the curls. I don't want my hair to look greasy. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Alright guys, so this is what the hair looks like after I fluffed, not fluffed, <laughs> after I separated the curls. It looks really good. Let me show you guys the side. I will say this turned out so much better than the first time I did it and you know what if I'm gonna do flexorize I think I'm going to either blow out my hair or actually do a heatless blowout and I'll use the flexorize then and just make sure my hair is not super wet because it was a true learning experience for me because like I said I haven't done flexorize since I was permed or even when I used to wear sewings and things like that I would use flexorize to create curls but on my own natural hair like it looks so good and you know what I'm definitely want to you know continue to experiment to see like what works better for my hair who knows I make him do one on wet hair and just make sure I just you know either put the flexorize in and just walk around the house and let it air dry for a long period of time or just you know sleep with them in my hair overnight which is actually what I did to make sure that my hair was fully dry the second time even though I knew it was already dry before I went to bed but I will say, um, I will say with the Flexorize, like, they were hard to sleep in. I'm going to tell you that now. Hard to sleep in, and, you know, I just have to find a way to sleep through it because I had to basically sleep on my stomach like this because the things in my hair, they were just uncomfortable, but I, and all in all, I really enjoyed the experience of using Flexorize, and even though the first one was a fail, I definitely truly love the way this second round turned out, especially on dry blowing out hair. And plus my hair would have shrunk up if it was, you know, wet. <laughs> so I hope you guys really like this video. And you know, if you want more of these type of videos where I'm doing different styles I haven't done before, uh, then just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to read over them and try to do as many hairstyles that I can for you guys because you know hey I've been natural for two years but I haven't tried out every single hairstyle on my hair because you know my go-to is the wash and go and sometimes the uh, twist out but I do want to try a twist and curl I think but I do want to try um, perm rods again so I'll let you guys know how 
that comes out or like I said if you want if you request me to do a certain hairstyle then just you know let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys so like I said if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to click that bell so you can be notified when I uh, upload a new video but I'll see you guys later bye